Just two weeks after it opened, a popular new bar is forced to close. You can see in this video why. Check out the damage left behind after a car smashed right into it. Quite the scene there. Jordan Burgess is live with a look now at what led up to this crash. Jordan. Well, that 92-year-old driver was apparently trying to turn from Spring Grove onto Cooper here, but instead ended up slamming into the side of the bar, sending games and glass flying. A place that's seen its share of shattered glass, but normally it only happens on a screen. A lot of people were saying he took Crazy Taxi too seriously. The owner of Arcade Legacy, Jesse Baker, showed up to find his virtual world had been invaded by the real one when a car smashed through the side of his arcade bar. I would not have expected that ever. <laughs> Baker says the 92-year-old driver told people at the scene that he'd been on his way to get his brakes fixed, but apparently hadn't gone soon enough. He said his brakes went out and, and the car sped up into the wall. <laughs> Baker says the driver wasn't hurt, and it appears neither were any of the games, which can be hard to come by these days. I have other games, luckily, backups, but to get an exact game replacement is pretty tough. The bar has only been open in Northside for two weeks, but it's already making an impression on residents. Support from Northside has been fantastic so far. So everybody seems to be happy we're here. Workers spent the day gathering glass and tossing timber into a truck as part of cleanup efforts. Baker says if everything goes as planned, they'll be able to reopen on Wednesday. We've already had a lot of support from Facebook and everything. People are like, we're going to pack the place tomorrow. So, so hopefully that'll make up for it. And you can see the progress that's already been made out here in trying to fix all of this damage. And the plan again is to open at 5 o'clock tomorrow here. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 9 on your side.